is my special occasion speech. After years of tense jealousy and awkward flirtation, I can't believe that we are here today. I couldn't be happier to be celebrating the union of two of my favorite people, Hermione Granger and Ronald Weasley. Growing up, whenever my family was going on long, long car trips, we would listen to the Harry Potter audiobooks. And so, early on, I joined the ranks of the adoring fans of the Harry Potter series. On my 11th birthday, I anxiously awaited my acceptance letter from Hogwarts and my visit from Hagrid. I'm still waiting. If either you, if, if either you, Hermione, or Ron could put in a good word with Dumbledore for me, it would be greatly appreciated. From the, the, from the get-go, Hermione was my favorite character, and I could go on and on about the reasons why she's so great, but I think that I liked her so much because of her noteworthy qualities of confidence and compassion. Hermione's confidence is a defining feature throughout the series. She is definitely a character not to be messed with. Hermione is one of the few characters in the book who is unafraid to call he who must not be named by his true name, Voldemort. And as a, she's an unabashed nerd, Hermione did not hesitate to raise her hand persistently in every class and make the library her second home. Even when other students would make fun of her nerdy ways and call her a know-it-all, she didn't care. She's incredibly clever and hard working and, hard to, and refused to let her classmates get her down. When I was younger, I used to not only be into Harry Potter, but all fantasy fiction, particularly series involving dragons, and I also had this unusual obsession with outer space and would often spend my free time, I kid you not, researching different planets. And I didn't talk about these things with my friends, I think I was a little bit embarrassed by them, but Hermione taught me that it was okay to be nerdy, admirable even. Hermione is muggle-born, which, to give you a little bit of background, uh, means that her parents did not have magical blood. This heritage tends to be looked down on in the wizarding community, particularly by pure-blood wizards like Draco, Mo Draco Malfoy, who call muggle-born wizard and witches mud by the derogatory nickname Mudbloods. Despite the prejudices that Hermione faced, she owned her muggle background. In fact, when Ron once objected to her calling herself a mudblood, she retorted, why shouldn't I? I am a mudblood, and proud of it. Again and again, Hermione has the confidence to be true to herself and is resolutely proud of who she is, no matter what others may think. Hermione's compassion for others also shines through throughout the series. Hermione is fiercely loyal to her friends, Ron and Harry in particular. Even if it meant putting herself in danger and risking her life, Hermione was always there to back Harry up in his various encounters with the Dark Lord. She even decided to drop out of Hogwarts to pursue the Deathly Hallows with Ron and Harry, sacrificing her academic passion that has always been so important to her in order to help a friend in need. She is the voice of reason among her friends, always there with the right spell and game plan to take control of the situation. Hermione has a strong sense of empathy and is constantly defending people and creatures that she feels have been wronged. At Hogwarts, she was, an she was an activist for the rights of underprivileged house elves and even formed an organization for the promotion of their freedom. After long nights working on schoolwork, she would spend her time knitting hats for the elves to free them. In another demonstration of her social conscience, Hermione saved the innocent hippogriff Buckbeak from execution. One of my favorite moments in the series was actually when Hermione punched Dra Draco Malfoy in the face <laughs> for encouraging Buckbeak's execution. She also defended Luna Lovegood and Neville Longbottom when other students would give them a hard time for di being different. It is clear that Hermione is not afraid to stand up for the people and causes that she believes in. And this is a quality that I not only find incredibly admirable, but is also very rare. All in all, this unapologetic, tenacious character is one that I have always looked up to. As fellow Hermione fan Emma Watson told Global Grind reporter in 2011, young girls are told that you have to be the delicate princess. Hermione taught them that you can be the warrior. Ron, I must say, you are one lucky guy. So if you would all join me in raising your butter beer, cheers to the happy couple and to my childhood hero and 100 points for Gryffindor. <laughs> I may have put that one scene whenever she punched him in the face on replay several times. <laughs>